everyone. Well, I was going to howl like a werewolf, but I'm going to spare you all that. So let me know down below if you appreciate that or not. I've heard that doing such a thing could be kind of cringe. Try not to be cringe. Anyway, here we are. Innistrad Midnight Hunt is out. Let's do a set booster box. So here's a buy a box promo from uh, my local game store. Champion of the Perished alternate border or alternate art extended border whatever you want to call it it's the buy box promo i love it absolutely love this card um every zombie deck should be playing that forever and forever let's go so they changed the packaging on this which is uh, i'm sure great from the standpoint of the uh like shippers and you know stores that want to like have this on their shelves or whatever or, i don't know um, no difference to me. Um, save space. There we go. Midnight Hunt. Set booster. Pack opening on the side. Wow, that was buttery smooth. I always have trouble with those. Let's see. Uh, we've got a can't stay away, right? Got a bunch of cats for art there. Fun times. And at the end of the video, I will scan this all up and we'll see if I, uh, did okay. Uh, yeah, I'm digging the, uh, the alternate... Um, showcase, I guess you would say, Swamps. Uh, that is absolutely gorgeous. The black and white, purple. Um, those are winners. I'll be scanning those up as well. All right, set booster. What kind of set? What booster was this? I'm guessing it's zombie-themed. Yep, yeah, kind of looking like that. Um, and then we get to some wolves and vampires, so that goes all out the window. <laughs> Whatever. Showcase. Uh, Warlock. I uh, love it. Absolutely love the frame. Love the uh, the line art style, kind of comic booky, reminiscent of probably like horror comics from the 50s. Uh, I can dig it. Uh, the frames are really cool. Don Hart Warden's probably nothing big. Lunark Veteran. Let's get some rares here. Haunted Ridge. Yeah. So this cycle of uh, dual land, I think, is going to be uh, relatively popular. Um, it's definitely not a fetch land, but it's uh, going to be solid, so we'll scan that up later. And we got a, a flip uh, kind of keeper card there. All right, let's get through this thing. Oh, man, the pack opening is much smoother than the rest of the um, ones I've had before. There's Tovalars and Art. So a foil uh, land like this uh, probably going to be pretty decent, so we'll scan that up as well. We're going to scan up this whole pile. Maybe we'll make two piles of scannables. I don't know what I'm doing. You guys know. Got some blue cards. Then we get to... So Faithful Mending, actually, I think is a card we're going to pull and try to scan. I should probably double check um, what is good in this set. There we go. Um, extended art, alternate art. I don't know what this is, but it's a Haunted Ridge, and I love it. Burly Breaker. Uh, yep. Flippable Showcase Werewolf. Awesome. I don't know if that's a good one. Mis Memory Deluge. And a foil poppet stitcher. So I've played with this a little bit. Um, if it can survive, if your enemy, if your opponent doesn't immediately remove it, um, it can do some work on the battlefield. So there we go. That's a good one. I'm gonna pause real quick, and I'm just gonna double check the uncommons in this set that uh, may be worth picking, and I will keep an eye out for those. Okay, so I got kind of an idea what to look for. We're gonna be looking for faithful mending, and uh, moon silver key, and then the black card that is. Um, a removal spell. So, just keep an eye out for those. Oop, Foil Island and a Cathar of some kind. A seasoned Cathar. Yeah, very nice. Look at this. That's gorgeous. Yep, yep, alright. Wrong pile. Some zombies, more zombies, wolves, Shady Traveler, and a Stalking Predator. Very cool. Uh, this did some work for me in Limited. Uh, Florian and a Candle Grove Witch. And a token. And I'll throw that over there. Alright. We're just taking our time. Enjoying the flavor of this set. Love the Innistrad plane. Obviously a lot of people do because we're back here for the third time. Um, can't go wrong with uh, 
Uh, these kind of tribes are very popular. Kessig Naturalist, yeah. Um, Going to be a staple for the Werewolf deck. Uh, this, the uh, Showcase version looks really cool. Uh, I might scan that one later, too. Hound Tamer, Reckless Storm Tamer, another one. Um, this is uh, a big turn three in the Werewolf deck already. So, great. And a Burb. I'm looking for a Meat Hook Massacre. <laughs> Said no one ever until just now. Oh, cool. The art card for Mountain. That's kind of nice. Uh, that card, I think, is going to be um, seeing a lot of play. A couple of showcase. Yeah, those are awesome. Totally like EC Comics. Storm the Festival and a Mind Slicer from uh, the list. Uh, I'll scan that one up as well. I'm not sure that one's super expensive it's probably not too much some of these list cards have surprised me and some of them have not surprised me Here, here's a signed bloodthirsty adversary so we'll scan that one up as well join the dance Got a scoundrel an infiltrator a gale drifter and a triskaidekaphile um, win the card if you have exactly 13 cards in your hand Nothing wrong with that. And a vampire token. Hey, another signed art card. It's typically only get like one. And that's Liesa. We'll scan that as well. And that island. And the Siphon Insight. Okay. And a Tree Folk token for all the Renin 7s that are going to be in this box. I saw my buddy MTG Unpacked has been pulling Renin 7s left and right. Come on, save some for the rest of us, would you? That's cool. The uh, the planes is just purely black and white because of the white border. So where the, the swamp has to have a purple border to make it stand out. Field of Ruin, nah, it's not going to be a money card, I don't think. We've got a Pithing Needle and a Foil. Ooh, Showcase Denik, Pious Apprentice. Look at him. I'm alive. Not anymore. I'm alive. I'm a spirit. Human spirit. Kind of cool. There's that cringe we talked about earlier. It just had to happen eventually. Yeah. Lear. Yeah, this card is nuts. I forget what it does, but I just I know that it's good. I'm going to assume that it's good. Blade Stitch Scab. Uh, I don't know if it's scannable, but I'm going to check it. There you go. Tovalar's Huntmaster as a showcase. Yeah, I love these showcases. The art is amazing to me. Candlegrove of Witch. Grafted Identity. So look. Okay, now I'm really confused. So on Arena, this there's a different face. There's like a no face where it's been like cut out of there. And, but the physical card has a different uh, art where it's literally John Travolta from Face Off, which they should have done uh, uh, Nicolas Cage. The case could be made. It could be either of them. Um, interesting take on control magic. Um, but it's just weird that it's got the different art. And it doesn't just like show as an alternate art. Am I wrong about that? I'll have to take a look. Frenzied Trap Breaker. Flipping some werewolves day and night. These guys, an island, rejuvenator, painter. It's a werewolf on the back, right? A howler. Overgrown oh, farmland. Yeah, I will take these all day long. I imagine they'll scan it for a couple bucks or maybe more. I'm not sure. But you never go wrong with more dual mana lands. And foil, full art, basic lands. Consider is another, that's a, like the, the best common in the set. Visions of Duplicity from Commander. Wow. Exchange control two card target creatures you don't control. Hmm. You can mess with someone's commander set up that way, I'm sure. At sorcery speed, though. We got old stick fingers. Howl of the Hunt. 
try not to make this be a super long video, but usually can't help it. Forest. Yeah, I like the treatment on the the green in there. It's it's not foil, but it's got a little bit of extra shine to it. I think they did okay with those. Brigand, overwhelmed archivist, and a shipwreck marsh. There you go. Blue and black. And I guess this is the day. Yeah, you can track day and night, but it's not technically a day and night token. Is there a day and night token? I feel like there should be. Are we going to run into it? I don't know. Got to track that kind of stuff. They always give you stuff like that to track whatever phases are going on and whatever mechanic they have. This is a vampire pack with a human wizard in it just because it's red. Moon Silver Key is over a buck, so we'll pick that one. The Bird Admirer and a Wing Shredder, the Bereaved Survivor, the Dauntless Avenger. She's a oh, not a spirit. Oh uh, yeah, she gets mad because someone died, then she goes to war. Eh, makes sense. Ghoul Caller's Harvest. There's Gisa, uh, which is a uh, card I'd like to play around with in, in in those colors. So I'll be hanging on to that. Unblinking Observer. Full art, flesh taker. I guess it didn't make the list for money card, but it's an okay card. Slaughter specialist and a diagraph horde. A zombie. It's not a giant. So it doesn't look like it would be a giant zombie. I guess it's not. It's a horde. Though it creates more tokens, so that makes it a horde. That makes sense. Arlen. There she is. With all her wolf buddies. And a full swamp. Yeah, that looks that looks really nice. I like it. Scoundrel, Vanquish the Horde, Shady Traveler, and a Cradle Guard. No, I didn't need that. Nobody needed that. So got Echo. You pay for it twice. No. Nobody wants that. Stick fingers. Look at this guy. It's like Andy Samberg, doesn't it? <laughs> like he just had a little too much um, bath salts at the party and uh, went nuts. Same with this guy. Vampires are just kind of like that, aren't they? They just go nuts. Curse of Obsession. The game with the enchanted player's draw step. That player draws two additional cards and then it discards their hand at the end step. Wow, interesting. So I wonder if that's... Eh, it's cost five. I mean, it's there's other... Effects. It's probably not a big one there. Curse of Leeches. So the curses are e interesting. And this one can flip over into a, a lurker. And we got another list card, a Noxious Ghoul. Very cool. This one seems on point, even art wise, with the showcase um, for this set. So it's an okay include for the list, I'd say. We'll see if it's worth anything later. Oh yeah, this is a uh, duel for dominance. So, uh, Arlen fighting someone who looks like he's gonna probably kick her butt. Painter. Yeah, love the art. Smasher. And another ruffian. Just got that. Got a falcon wrath pit fighter. And a stinger. And a Karoo. <laughs> what? And there's battlefield tap. Yay. Enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless you return an untapped planes you control this owner's hand. Yay! And then you can actually, once you get that going, you pay to, you can tap it to add one and a white to your mana pool. So, uh, reprint from, uh, I think, Mirage. Um, yeah, not a big one. I will check it though. I've run into many of the originals and they never fail to disappoint when you scan them up. Forest. Not familiar with that card. Here's an island. Rise of the Ants, the Bait Hick Angler, and a Malevolent Hermit. Sacrifice him and turn him into this nice old spirit. That's funny how the 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 uh, Disturbed cards are, like in life, they're all grumpy. Or they're like doing a bunch of work. And then in death, they're, they're liberated and they're free and... I want to help everybody. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that was kind of funny. And a reduced to memory. Okay. <laughs> this was printed two sets ago. It's still in print. 
Why are they reprinting this card right now on the list? I'm irritated by that. Okay. I I'm not going to scan it. All right, I saw there's the day and night token. So I'm going to scan that and see if it's worth anything at all. Oh, cool. So we got the showcase Tovalar. That that's pretty cool. The blessing. Ah, right, there we go. Yeah, Mythic from Commander Kyler. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under control, put a one counter on this guy. Other humans you control get a one for each counter on Kyler. Yep. So he's your your uh, humans commander. Commander. Yeah. I like. Yeah. Okay. We can go with that. Visions of Glory, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token for each creature you control. Obviously coming from the same deck as Kyler here. Got a Vengeful Strangler. Kill him. And then he kills you. Back. A little bit more. Yeah, so I ran into him already. Galvanic Iteration. And a Harrier. Just a wolf. Just a wolf. Not a werewolf. That is Harvest Tide Sentry, of course. Swamp. Black and white set theme, sort of. Heirloom Mirror. And a Curse of Silence. Ah, oh, yeah, this makes a fiend. Someone tried to play this on me in Limited. And here's the drawback to it. When you, uh, when you transform this, you have to tap it to do the activity or to do the action. And then when it transforms, you've got a tapped 4-4 four, four flyer. And... So that doesn't work as a blocker, and you got to wait a whole turn um, for him to come in to to actually be useful. So that I actually won a game against that because it was no good. Bless defiance. Yeah, this guy, uh, arrogant outlaw. Mountain. The red's got a nice contrast. Grizzly Ghoul. Kind of want to play that card too. Covetous Castaway. The Huntmaster. And a Candle Trap in foil. So, some of these foil commons and uncommons that are useful and playable might be worth a little bit. I'm not sure. I have to really check into those. And there's Arlen the Moon Sphere. That's the backside of Arlen. So, there's actually two cards, art cards, that you need to collect. For that one card, and that makes sense then for all of these flip cards. Infernal Grass is the other card that's over like a buck that we're gonna scan. That's a uncommon. Sigarda! We got a mythic here. Champion of Light. Flying Trample Humans you control get plus one plus one, and that's got the coven uh, ability. So all your well, you have to have three creatures that have different powers, and then you can do some stuff with it. So has that been working out for you guys? You've been using that Coven ability. I've not made a Coven deck yet. It's probably doable. And uh, let's see, you got Denik and a Foil Swamp. Nothing wrong with that. A lot of showcases coming out of here, so they're not going to probably be a whole lot of money. Spectral Adversary Mythic, right? So you can, these are the ones you can. You bring them into the battlefield, then you pay the extra cost as many times as you want, and it does some cool stuff. So that was pretty decent. We got an acorn catapult from the list. Deals one damage to target creature player. That creature controller or that player puts a one green scroll creature token on the battlefield. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll check it. Sure. Definitely seen the original before, but I don't know what it. I don't know if it's any money. Probably not. Fading Hope. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate there. Stuffed Bear. Visions of Dominance. Put a one counter on target creature, then double the number of one counters on it. Okay. And then you can flash it back. Holler. Veteran. Lord of the Forsaken. Another mythic. Big demon. Flying Tremble. Pay black to sacrifice another creature. Target player mills three cards, and you pay one life to add. Colorless. Oh. That would be super broken, but you can only use it to cast a spell from a graveyard, but still pretty good. He's got like the meat hook massacre chains going on with him there. That's cool. Path to the festival. Come on. The packs were doing so good, but 
couldn't uh, keep it up. Stalking Predator Island. Infiltrator. We got another Poppet Stitcher. Non foil this time. And a Candle Grove Witch. Yeah, the, the foil showcases look nice. And a bat. Oh, yeah. What's this guy? Jaren? Corrupted Bishop? Yeah, he looks like he's really proud of himself for what he's about to do. I, I wouldn't be. I'd be really concerned. Hey, very cool. Mythic Showcase, Lear, Disciple of the Drowned. Yeah, spells can't be countered. Each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard has flashback. Flashback cost is equal to that card's mana cost. I, I was going to see some play in Commander, I imagine. And Sarah, the Viper's Fang. Yeah, I like this card too. And a Memnite. That's good. We'll keep that. Uh, other top creatures you control have Death Touch. I think that's got some possibilities with Finn, the Fang Bearer. And then if they're untapped, they control. They get uh, Hexproof. You can untap another target creature. Yeah, I think there's shenanigans to be had there. Jack-O-Lantern in foil. Could be something. Could be something. Could be nothing. I'm assuming it's really nothing. Brutal Cathar. Mountain. The new art for the duress. Pretty cool. I like it. I like the one with the the girl with the needles in her face. Or, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen that one. Liesa. And another uh, list card. It's a shambling shell. Looks like Dredge got it. No, I'm not going to do that. The uh, Hedge Witch's Mask. Cute. Bring it to all the parties. Cavalier. Breaker. Naturalist. Champion of the Paris. Great. So I got the regular to go with my Bio Box promo. Cool. I like the that art as well. Covetous Castaway. Look. He's, oh, he's I'm sad. He's, but now he is like a grinning ghoul spirit face. See what I'm talking about? It's been noticed. Oops. That is Nebel Gas Intruder. This guy's funny. And planes. Faithful Mending. Painter. Liberator. Augur of Autumn. I mean, look at the top card of your library. Anytime you pay lands from the top of your library. Like you control three or more creatures with different powers. You may cast creature spells from the top of your library. Solid. Very solid. I think that's going to see some play. Rock Coil Creeper. And one pack left, and then we will scan these up and see how we did. Feels feels like a pretty good box. Oh man, look at her. Here to go, little Darren Stinger. Lindy, cheerful tormentor. Yeah, man, she's super creepy. Death touch whenever a curse is put into your graveyard from the battlefield. Return it to the battlefield attached to you. At the beginning of the next end step, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may attach a curse attached to you to one of your opponents if you do draw two cards. Curse! A little curse shuffling. Yeah, look at her. She's like doing some nasty business with that doll. Creepy! Shady Traveler and a Geist Flame Reservoir and a Foil Gale Drifter and a Spirit. Alright, uh, let's scan them up. All right, so I'm just going to really count the foils here. Let's Lindy is not in the system. Augur of Autumn. There we go. 659. Faithful Mending. 498 right now. Wow. Champion of the Paris. Four something. Liesa. 297. Sereth. A Memnite from the list is 635. That's the original. Let me check the list version. Wow. Six bucks. Lier. 
1067 pop it stitcher seven this is adding up nicely Lord of the Forsaken visions of dominance acorn catapult 13 bucks so and the list is 10 so I kind of underestimated that one spectral adversary five Garda is five. Infernal Grasp is almost four bucks. Tovalar. Curse of Silence. Iteration. Visions of Glory. Wow, these are all trending pretty high. So Kyler and Lindy don't scan. Um, probably because they're are the commanders all right let's check the day the day token doesn't scan neither does the night so we'll hang on to that one malevolent hermit a couple bucks a Karoo. yeah i mean no it's not a flooded strand or an armageddon a Karoo. it's just an uncommon it's really nothing the pit fighter the noxious ghoul it's a buck seventy-five, the original. Let's check the list version. There we go. Curse of Leeches. Nothing big there. Curse of Obsession. That one's good. Six bucks. Bankers the Horde. Five. Slaughter Specialist. Ghoul Callers Harvest. Moon Silver Key. Couple bucks. And then the Shipwreck Marsh. Yeah, five. Okay. I figured they'd be about in that range. Stick fingers, buck, visions of duplicity, consider farmland, 350, grafted identity, there he is, I'm going to see if there's a different version of that, extended art, same face, so the arena version has a different art, it's so weird. Huntmaster Showcase, nine bucks. Scab, yeah, 40 cents. So there's Denik. Let's see if it can be seen. And it's a foil. 346. Pithing Needle, reprinted a bunch. Still good. Insight. So here's the art card. And the art cards must not be loaded yet, so we'll hang on to those. Triskaidekaphile. Yep, same with that one. Mind Slicer. 16 on the list. Wow, so I did really get on my list rares. Storm of the Festival. Summoner, or Storm Seeker. Keswick Naturalist. Showcase. It's only 50 cents. The Scion. Save that one. 321. Faithful Mending. Had another one of those. A Haunted Ridge. 499. Orderless. Six. And then the foil poppet stitcher. We'll have to throw it to get a foil. 858. So all in all. 21950 as of September 21st. Oh, hold on, my bio box. Jimmy the Paris extended art. Looks like the yeah, hopefully that's the bio box version that they know that, that it's that. Nope. Well, I don't know, it might be that. Eleven bucks or so currently. And I think the prices are like crazy right now because it's technically before the release. Uh, this is a Pre or pre release buy a box promo. So, if I want to get my money back, I gotta sell them right away. So, anyway, I had fun opening it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed me watching all this stuff. Hit me with a like, why don't you? And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.